Hi, I'm Chen Rou. I'm here in Guiyang, China. Today, I want to talk about something related to optical fiber communication. Optical communication is a mean of communication at a long distance. We use it in our daily life every day, but how much do we really know about it? Little. So, so now let me introduce it to you. It, what optical fiber is? Optical fiber is a kind of trans transparent glass fiber, only about 1 to 100 mi microns in diameter. It is formed by two layers. The, the inner layer re refractive index is greater than the coats. It repeats total reflections on the interface to transmission the information, and here is the total reflection. Scientists find that we can let light carry information in some form of material. And the material is silicon dioxide. And this idea was first been put forward by a British Chinese, Gao Kun. The structure is clear now. That how it works. The steps are as follow. With, with emitter produce light signals. Then the fiber transmission it, and the repeater strengthen the signal. Finally, the, re the receiver receives light signals and convert it to other signals. One fiber can transfer all the signals at the same time. Compare with the traditional copper wine. Now the situation has improved a lot, especially the use for the long distance. Here are more advantages. The small signal interference, the good security performance, the rich material source, and good environmental protection. The light wave can run out of the optical fiber, no radiation, and impossible to if to if drops on, but it sure can be improved. The silicon dioxide, the same material with glass, is not strong enough. So we have to invest plenty of money to keep them in good repair. Also, to prevent attenuation of light, we should build repeaters to strengthen the light every 20 kilometers, which also costs a lot. Thus, the most important thing we need to solve is to lower the price. The good news is that, is that scientists now make the optical fiber as thin as they can to make it pliable, so that it will be difficult to break off. And here, I have an assumption. The space between the silicon di dioxide and the coat can be filled with water or other liquid, so that the silicon dioxide can be more thin. So, in a long distance, it can decrease the use of material, as well as saving money. Because of the air pressure inside the silicon dioxide, the material won't be broken, so it is safe. Thus, my idea is feasible. Imagine there's a force impact our fiber. What would happen? The one we, we use nowadays can be easily broken. All the cover and the material will rub each other and bring some damage. As for the new fiber I come up with, with just now, the water here or the liquid can be the cushion or buffer. That is to say, the silicon dioxide may move a little, but it will, it, but it is well protected. A little shake won't make any influence to the light. Consequently, my idea can be useful and feasible. It can protect the fiber so that it will cost less. If my idea is adopted, the, ca the capacity of optical communication will have more improvements. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.